गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट आई होप यू ऑल गुड एट होम स्टूडेंट टूडे वी विल कंटिन्यू आर चैप्टर 19 दैट इज स्टोरी ऑफ अर्ली मैन बिफोर स्टार्टिंग द चैप्टर थॉट ऑफ द डे इज मिस्टेक्स आर प्रूफ दैट यू आर ड्राइंग वॉट इज द थॉट ऑफ द डे मिस्टेक्स आर प्रूफ दैट यू आर ड्राइंग सो स्टूडेंट Let we continue our chapter. It is on page number one hundred seven. Open your book, everyone. I am on page number one hundred seven. Tell you story of early men. Now, student, in previous video, we have to learn about the early men. How they use tools. early men used tools for digging out roots and hunting animals after that the tools made the early men powerful and they used the tools for hunting and fishing digging and swim sowing and then later they started making herds from mud and leaves okay and then the early men made claws out of animal skin and today we will discuss discovery of fire it is very interesting students to discuss discovery of fire how it is very interesting student the early men saw jungle fires breaking out very often it is very often they saw the jungle fires but they were scared they were scared scared means afraid okay now scared means afraid fearful where is this this is scared it means fearful afraid so students slowly they observe that fire gives out heat slowly gradually they observe the fire and gives out the heat they also notice that the animals did not come near the fire they noticed that when the fire breaking out animals did not come near the fire so they try to make fire by using spark from the jungle fire or by rubbing to stones look like this so was rubbing two stones together here okay move on next page soon the early men started using fire to keep themselves warm and to light up the caves they also used fire to keep the animals away accidentally accidentally mean beta word is here accidentally what is mean accidentally it means suddenly or uh, all of sudden it is accidentally they realize that fire can be used to cook food perhaps a piece of flesh fell into the fire flesh everyone you know the flesh flesh it, uh, meat okay so a piece of flesh fall into the fire they found that the roasted piece of flesh was softer and tastier than the raw meat what they saw they saw and they found that the roasted piece of flesh was softer and tastier than the raw meat this is how they started cooking with fire so what they observe they observe the fire can be used to cook food and piece of flesh fall into the fire they found that the roasted piece of flesh was softer and tastier 
the discovery of fire changed the way of living of the early men they started using fire to make their lives easier it was a big step towards their progress which is a big step big, big step is using fire this is a big step towards their progress because so many words depend on fire after that learn to do farming the early man noticed that new plants grew from the seeds that fall on the ground so they started scattering seeds on the ground A student scattering means an act or process it is a act or process in which something scattered scatters or it scattered okay so this is the process process of scattering a seeds on the ground new plants grew in large number so they realized that a lot of food can be grown in this way how they realized that lot of food can be grown in this way when they scattering seeds on the ground and new plants grew in a large number after that they realized that a lot of food can be grown in this way they slowly started to learn how to do farming they realized that they can grow their own food then they started using tools to softer the hard upper layer of the soil they could easily sow the seeds in the soft soil this was the started of plugging the soil gradually dheere dheere gradually they started using animal to plug the soil so student learning to do farming learning to grow crops was a big achievement can you guess what it mean for them learning to grow crops was a big achievement can you guess it what it mean for them yes i will explain now student the early humans did not have to go to jungle to gather food from hunter gatherers they become a food producers okay when they when they produce food their own they didn't go out for hunting and gatherers okay and then after they did not have to put their life in danger and they could eat what they like and not what they could find in the jungle so these are the big achievement when learning when they grew up plants okay so student after that domesticate animal so the early man realized that animals can be great use so they started taming the animals taming the animals means domesticate the animals dog was perhaps the first domesticated animals so student domesticated animals it means domestication is the process i am here domestication is the process of adopting wild animals and animals for human use it is domestication so domestication is the process in which we adopting wild plants and animals for human use they also found that cows buffaloes and goats gave milk horses and donkeys were used to travel and carry loads ship was reared for its wool the early men now took care of the domestic animals overall they were happy to see that many of them had grown into plants and they learned they also 
experience the good experienced by domesticated animals and so on so as students main thing is here main thing is here ki early man when they started using fire to keep them keep themselves warm and to light up the caves seriously it is a biggest step towards their progress okay now students some points we will revise some points okay first point is discovery of fire they noticed that the animals did not come near the fire and and they roasted piece of flesh it was softer and tastier than the raw meat and the discovery of fire changed the way of living of the early men after that farming new plants grew in a large number so they realized that a lot of food can be grown in this way after that domesticate animals the early men realized that animals can be a great use so they they domesticated animals like dogs cows buffaloes goats horses donkeys etc etc okay students i hope you all understand the things thank you so much beta to listening to me